Okay, there it is, the dreaded Essential Elements 2000, book one for bassoon. Okay, super amazing. This book starts in the key of B flat. Bassoonists do not start in the key of B flat. If you're switching a student to bassoon or if you're brand new to bassoon yourself, you need to start in the key of C. No ifs, no ands, no buts. That's the deal. Start in the key of C. The Essential Elements book is for full band. Uh, it's very useful for bassoonists, but it cannot be the only thing that you're using because it starts in the key of B flat. Okay, we're going to move over here to Bassoon Student. Yes, the Payne Weber Bassoon Student. This is a pretty good book. Starts in the key of C, um, gives you your flats one by one, has some nice short excerpts in there so you can have instant success. Uh, it's great. I like to use it with beginners. I have the schools that I work at stock it so they can have those available for students when they switch over. Um, but again, at the bottom it says student instrumental course. You can use this with the whole band as well. There are things uh, in there that are just for bassoonists, and then there's things in here that are just for the whole band, or both. Right? What needs to be said is that the fingering charts in both of these books <coughs> are incorrect. Okay, well, let's look down here at the Essential Elements 2000. Dr. Tim Lotzenheiser. I like Paul Lavender. Those people are, are very uh, schooled, very important people in the world of band as we know it today. Super important. Bassoonists, not so much. Okay, The fingering charts that are in both of these books are so, so wrong. What happens to students of any age when they start with bassoon is that they get overwhelmed. First of all, there's about 900 buttons on a bassoon, and reading the chart at all is a challenge. If you're going to be patient enough and take the time to read the chart, good for you, uh, but please be careful about what you select. The first thing that any sixth grade beginning bassoonist will do when given three options for the fingering for E-flat third space in the bass clef staff is they will choose the simplest one for them to do, which is also the most out of tune and the most difficult to break them from to get them to use the correct fingering. Okay, So I'm going to zoom over here, give you a nice screenshot. This is actually the fingering chart from the Essential Elements 2000 book as amended by me, Miss Welton. There it is. Okay. See all the ones that have been crossed out? That's because you can't use those fingerings in those octaves, um, particularly the F sharp at the top of page two. And if you go four lines down, there's another F sharp. The one is only okay for the lower octave. The other one's only okay for the upper octave. And this book happens to list them both for both octaves. Yeah, that, that doesn't really work out. That's not, not going to happen for you. Okay. So I'm going to try and be real still for a moment so you can get a good screenshot of this. And then we will move along to the next topic.